it's always an absolutely brilliant honour to get to play at the Edmonton Folk Festival. It really is one of the best festivals of all. Uh, I really love going there. I've been there several times since the early 90s and um, I've been lucky that uh, most times that I was there, the weather has been absolutely beautiful. Uh, but I was there once, uh, once or twice when there was rain as well and uh, that didn't stop people having a great time. Actually, the first time that I was ever there, I think it might have been 94, um, <clears throat> uh, the, the, everyone was, people were sliding down the hill uh, in the mud and um, some of us were scrambling, looking for wellies and raincoats and stuff like that, whereas other, or others of us were just rolling up the, the trousers and just wading around in, in the bare feet in the mud. And um, it didn't matter because it wasn't a bit cold or anything like that. But most of the time, anyway, it doesn't seem to matter whether the weather is good or bad. And um, that year, the year of the mud, I remember Taj Mahal was playing on the main stage and it was absolutely fantastic. And then even more amazing was to see him playing in the festival club afterwards at the hotel uh, really, really amazing. And um, what I love about the festival also is the the c collaborations with other musicians during the day in the in the in the smaller <coughs> stages, and to, to get to collab collaborate with members, band members from various different bands. Like there could be band members from three or four different bands together on the stage, and uh, it always um, ends up being very interesting gigs during the day. And um, I have loads and loads of great memories uh, of the festival. And there was one year in particular, I think it was 2008, um, an open air session in the Artists Bar. And we had a session with Danu, members of Danu and members of the absolutely gorgeous French Canadian band Loop gorgeous lads brilliant musicians and uh, the other great French Canadian band um, La Botte and Sariant and the, the, the great Tim O'Brien and of course there was free beer in in the the in the artist bar it's always a, a recipe for great fun and um, great um, um, interaction and mingling bet between the the artists um, I remember that year also Paddy Keenan was there. There was a, a lovely band put together with Paddy Keenan and Siobhan Peoples and Neve Parsons singing. Uh, it was really gorgeous. And um, I'm trying to think there was someone else with them as well. It might have been Ron Kavanagh. And they were there too at that at that session. Um, that year, uh, Andy Irvine, Irvine was there that year as well. And Ron Sexsmith, um, J.P. Cormier, Jerry Holland, amazing fiddle player, um, Cape Breton fiddle player, uh, Guy Clark, the Waifs, and um, loads more, loads more. I, I, I can only remember the, 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 the folky types, the, but there was loads, 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 loads more artists um, at it. So thank you so much, Terry, for having us. And thank you to all the volunteers for all your hard work. And um, I... You know, I really hope we get to see you there in person again at some stage. And um, we really appreciate all your hard work and um, all the best 